Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com and in this video we'll be working with our cyber source extension for our live forms module. So let's get started. With our live forms 4, we've introduced the ability to collect payments on your site uh, using live forms extensions. So what I have here is a instance of live forms module and I'm going to go ahead and click manage. And one of the things uh, that are newly introduced in Life Forms 4 is a credit card and a currency field, which allows us to um, set up our forms to collect payments. So I'm not going to go ahead and spend any time today setting up a form. Instead, I'm going to jump over to our site uh, and look at the template gallery. And I already see there's a accept donation forms here uh, that I can use. And there's also a buy now and checkout that you can uh, take a look at. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy this template right here. Uh, it's copied and I will come right into my live forms, paste it. So I have a ready to go form to test our cyber source extension with. So now that I have a form set up, which is a simple form, allows me to select a, a predefined donation amount or specify a separate amount and then provide the billing information. So let's go ahead and set this up. I'm going to go ahead to uh, to options, actions, and I'm going to say when someone submits this form on form submission, I'd like to make a, a payment via cyber source. So let's give this action a name. I'm just going to call this cyber source. This could be any name you like. Uh, this is your merchant ID that you can get from cyber source once you sign up. So I have mine right here. And then after you enter your uh, merchant ID, what you want to do is validate uh, your ID and security key. Now, security key is a file. It's a it's a a, a, a key file that CyberSource will give you. If you're not sure how to get this, refer to our documentation or check with CyberSource, and they'll help you out. But this is a physical file uh, called uh, the P12 extension file that you need to then place at this exact location on your site. Now, if you are running in sandbox mode, then uh, the word live changes into test. I already have a key there, so I'm gonna change this to sandbox mode and that validation errors disappears. All right, so we're not gonna set up our, uh, our form. We have a currency we can choose, whether we wanna authorize the, the transaction or do authorize and capture. Um, uh, by default, the submission ID goes as your merchant reference code, but if you have any other fields on the form, you can map those here. So billing address, I have a credit card field on the form, so I'm just going to match everything from there. I have an email field as well, um, an address field for the address, so I'm going to map all those directly here. And then card number and card information can come from the credit card. And finally, I have a currency field. Uh, called the other amount which is going to be my total so that's it that's how you set it up it's very simple um, you can send additional information here to a uh, cyber source but that's for advanced users so we'll skip that uh, cyber source does return uh, response tokens one of them is reason code for example uh, and then we also have something called a decision message which is easier to put in a message so we'll be using some of these codes uh, to show the actual end result of the transaction. So let me save this. Then I'm going to add another action uh, called show message. I'm just going to call this um, success. And I'm simply going to uh, uh, I'm simply going to go ahead and uh, say that your order was placed and I'm going to use the token here as, as I was showing earlier which will probably include a reference ID or something along those lines. So let's go ahead and add this. Oops, I missed a important part. Uh, so I'm going to go back and edit that action really quick. And I only want to show the success message obviously if the, if the payment went through. So I'm going to say uh, only execute this if the immediately prior action is successful. So let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go ahead and add another message and this one I'm gonna say let's say for whatever reason it errored out or it failed uh, and I'm gonna say uh, let's see there was an error placing your order so you can contact us to place one and then this one we're gonna say if any of the prior actions failed that means if, if the sale uh, if the cyber source action didn't go through then we would like to show this message so that's it we have the setup 
I'm going to go ahead and test it out. So I'm going to save and return. And here's our form and I can I can have it pre-defaulted but I have it set to other and I'm going to simply say that I want to donate $47.50. Oh, that's not 47. $47.50 right there. Uh, and uh, I'll just type in some test information. I do have a test credit card number here that I can use. I'll change the expiration here and we'll just type away with some uh, dummy text here and hit donate okay so as we can see the transaction went through we have our order placed uh, success message which with with a request ID that's sent back from CyberSource and I'm gonna go ahead and click manage and as you can see that we have the submission here so one of the other new things that we've introduced with life forms 4 is uh, the ability to look at the results for each action I'm gonna go ahead and click here and I, as I can see that the cyber source action here on the top uh, was executed uh, and uh, the result was success here's the response that was sent back from cyber source and as we can see their decision was to accept the payment um, along with all other tokens now these are the tokens that are available to us to use uh, in, in the uh, messages or any subsequent actions uh, and similarly we can see right here that the success message was executed and then the error message was not executed so that's it for the short video if you have any questions or concerns uh, feel free to open a support ticket be sure to check out the uh, other video tutorial on how to calculate uh, fields if you're using a checkout form or something similar uh, that will help you set up a, a more complex e-commerce form thank you for watching the video